Hello and welcome. My name is Narani Nimpuno and I'm the Head of Global Engagement at the London Internet Exchange, Lynx. And today we're going to talk about what an Internet Exchange Point is. But first, let's have a look at what the Internet actually is. So when you imagine the internet, it's easy to think of it as one homogenous entity. Well, in fact, the internet is a network of networks. So that means that it consists of many different networks interconnecting and exchanging traffic in order to form what we know as the global internet. So any device on the internet can reach any other part of the internet as long as it's part of a network that exchanges traffic with others on the public internet. So a network that exchanges traffic with others on the internet is called an autonomous system. And that can be one network or a collection of networks that has the same routing policy. So the same consistent way of exchanging traffic with others on the internet. And in order to do so, the network or the autonomous system needs a globally unique identifier called an AS number, autonomous system number. And that's a globally unique identifier that the network uses to identify itself on the internet. So if AS100 wants to talk to AS200, it needs to announce its AS number to the other network. And AS200 needs to accept the traffic that comes from AS100 in order for that traffic exchange to take place. So how do networks actually exchange traffic on the internet? Well, there are a few different ways, but we're going to look at the three most common ways transit, private interconnection, and public peering. So let's start with transit. So transit is a very simple arrangement where you simply ask a third party, a transit provider, to carry your traffic across their network to reach the rest of the internet, and also the traffic on the internet to go through their network to reach you. So this is a very simple arrangement, and it's very common, particularly among new networks joining the internet. But as you can imagine, it doesn't give you much control over how that traffic is then traversing the internet as you give over that control to the transit provider. And it can also be a very costly way of interconnecting on the internet. So another common way for networks to exchange traffic is through what it's called private interconnection. A private interconnection is simply a term for two networks exchanging traffic between themselves on a private link. And this could be a cross-connect pulled at a data center, a cable that's just plugged into both networks' equipment, and you use that to exchange traffic between the two networks. It's also a very simple arrangement, and it's suitable in some cases where you want that traffic to just go between those two networks. But of course, it's limited in that you can't reach more networks than the two involved. And of course, it's also limited to whatever port capacity you have for the link between those two networks. So that brings us to peering at an internet exchange point. So what is an internet exchange point? Well, an IXP, an internet exchange point, is a facility that enables the traffic exchange between several other networks. It just acts as a hub for those networks to exchange traffic with each other. So peering is what it's called when networks exchange traffic on an internet exchange point. They normally do so freely and because both parties have recognized that there's a mutual benefit in doing so. And most of the time it's done in a settlement free manner. That means that those networks actually don't exchange money and they don't sign a contract for that. All the members of the exchange point simply pay a standard port fee at the exchange point that they can then use for interconnecting with others. So what are the advantages of an IXP? Well, as you can see, the IXP offers a lot of interconnection options for whoever is connected to that, net, to that exchange point. At one single location, through one single connection, a network can actually exchange traffic with many, many others in one single place. And obviously, the more members an exchange point has, the more value it offers to those other networks that are connected. 
So why would you want to pay at an exchange point? Well, one of the most commonly cited reasons is really to reduce operating costs. If you're a network that's relying on a transit provider and paying a lot of money for, for your, them to carry your traffic, you can possibly reduce some of the traffic you send through them and exchange that locally directly with the network that you want to reach. That can also lead to improved performance as you're taking control over how that traffic is being routed. It also means that you can keep the internet traffic local. So if there's content, for example, that you want to pass on to your customers or content that your customers want to reach, instead of that going through third party, you can exchange that locally at the exchange point where both of you are located. And that improves performance, reduces latency and increases the speed of that delivery. And of course, Connecting to an exchange point is a very easy and efficient way of exchanging traffic with others. So what are the other advantages of IXPs? Well, if you take a step back and look at a broader level, an IXP can actually contribute to resilience in a country. A lot of traffic that would have had to leave the country previously can be exchanged within the country, and that keeps more of that traffic in country which leads to better connectivity and better redundancy. A side effect of that could also lead, be leading to a richer ISP ecosystem with more competition, less vulnerability, and at the end, potentially also reduced cost of that internet. And then finally, um, another effect that's often cited, if an ISP does its job well, it can manage to gather a community around the IXP, not just for the negotiation of peering, but also for the exchange of knowledge, experience and information. And that can be hugely beneficial to a region and to a country. So that was a short summary of what peering at an exchange point is. It allows you to gain better control of your routing, it helps keep local traffic local. It helps you increase the performance of your network. And of course, it's a very easy and efficient way of exchanging traffic. So that was my short introduction to what an internet exchange point is. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>